Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Yoshiko Ikemoto. This is my first visit to Boston, and I'm very happy to be here. Today, I'm going to talk about my experiences in how we cooperate with the business sector and create new possibilities for the future. My talk is titled Product Development for Creating a Future. It is about how we use things we have learned from nature in business, especially in developing new products. The NPO, Seto Inancy Environmental Revival Committee, was established by people who use EM to try to purify and revitalize the Seto Inancy in order to enrich society and perceive uh, nature for the future. Uh, excuse me. Preserve nature for the future. To ex extend our activities without of so socializing our activities. We want our activities to become a part of the general activities of society. How do we socialize our NPO activities? I often recall what Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs> and all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. I always keep three things in mind. First, to have a dream. Second, to believe that my dream will be realized. And third, to have the courage to take uh, action and make change happen. <coughs> Whenever programs come up, I always remember how EM functions. Our NPO should be like EM and not reject others, but work together to create new possibilities and realize them. This shows how technologies can collaborate. On the left is Mr. Morita, president of Shavandam Soap Corporation, a professional, 100% natural and organic soap maker. On the right is Dr. Higa, a professional who utilizes microorganisms, especially EM, for various new uses. And in the center is Mr. Kita, a dry cleaning professional. These three professionals work together to create a new product. Initially, Mr. Kita's EM printing study group was studying various ways of the ways to improve the cleaning technology to increase customers' satisfaction and reduce cleaning costs. Another factor was the stringent environmental <coughs> regulations on the use of dry cleaning solvents and the development of washable stylish cloth. For the dry cleaning industry to survive, dry cleaning must also be environmentally friendly. <coughs> For this, the study group wanted to use natural soap combined with beneficial microorganisms to protect the environment. Although they had been using natural soap combined with EM, they wanted a simpler and more efficient method so that more dry cleaners could easily use it. Consequently, we decided to co coordinate their collaboration. As I said, dreams are important. But in a progression, this dream must be shared by all. So each can act to realize it. So we arranged for them to meet, and I joined them as an interviewer. They have many things in common. Mr. Morita made a big change from producing synthetic detergents to producing natural soap and Dr. Higa from working with pesticides to working with microorganisms, that is, from chemicals to natural materials. 
they also overcame a variety of hardships. At the time of this meeting, prototype Shabonda BM soap was completed, and we visited the Shabonda factory to see the soap. Dr. Higa told me to taste it. <laughs> I had never tasted soap, but I tried, and it tasted a little sweet. <laughs> Dr. Higa also said that he had seen many good handmade EM soaps, but he was really impressed with this soap's quality. Our dream had become a product, but that was not enough. We had to move on uh, to the next stage. <coughs> to further promote mutual understanding, we set up a tour for the executives of Shabandam Soap Corporation. We had the executives and Dr. Higa visit the EM Green Study Group. They were surprised to find out why and how the study group had developed their own way of using EM in green. Next, they visited a seaweed processing factory where EM was being used, and they also visited places where EM was being used by general consumers and local governments. After visiting these places, they became confident that Shabana EM soap would not only preserve water quality, but also purify polluted water and revitalize living organisms. Their personal feelings, however, were not enough because they are a business. They need more concrete data in order for them to proceed. So, we conducted a monitoring study on Shabana Miyamso. We requested feedback from users of Shaban and Soap and those who used EM to protect the environment, as well as those who had nothing to do with our network and who had no interest in protecting the environment. We obtained comments from 2,000 people. More than 50% of them answered that Shaban and EM Soap was better than synthetic detergents and 40% answered it was as good as synthetic detergents. Thus, about 90% of the people said the soap was good. So, with this data, we were able to move on to the next stage with confidence. In spring 2004, Shaban the Million Soap was finally put on sale. I was present when the soap was sold for this uh, for the first time. It was amazing. The soap sold like hotcakes. <laughs> During a one-year period from March 2004 to February 2005, 620,000 facial soap bars, 240,000 bars of kitchen use, and 172 tons of soap powder were shipped. This year, a liquid EM soap will be introduced, which should further promote the use of EM soap. We <coughs> have this graph because it is selling well and is profitable, but rather because so many people have become conscious of protecting the environment and by using EM soap are contributing to improving it. With our dream, belief, and courage, Shaban Me and Soap was accepted as a product by a society. It was not, however, the end of the story. The soap created further ripple effects. Ordinary, soap is only for washing things. He added something extra to it and the soap drew a lot of attention as a multi-purpose material. So, what were the ripple effects? One, 
uh, one was in the public sector, Shita Kyushu City and uh, Japan Sewage Works Association distributed shampoo and soap to citizens, asking them to use the soap not just for washing things, but also to protect the environment. We also asked companies that are environmentally conscious, for example, those with ISO 14001 certification, to be more careful about giving synthetic soap to their customers as a small present, and to use Shabunam EM soap as a tool for raising their customers' consciousness. Many companies, such as banks and newspaper companies, asked for the soap to use as a present for their customers. In addition, the Research Center of uh, con Consumer uh, electric, Electronic uh, Company wanted to use the soap for developing washing machines suitable for EM soap powder. The little effects were more than we expected. New products are now being developed in business, not related to green. For example, a pet product company wants to develop products for pet. Up to now, Shabandama soap and EM soap were used by people with skin problems or allergies. But now, more people are using EM soap as a way to protect the environment. President Morita of Shaman and Soap Corporation will also publish a revised reader on natural soap. His second book in April this year to send his message to more people. Furthermore, we are planning to produce videos showing the test data of the soap and its influence on the environment. Current trends are also supporting us. For business to survive, they must take social responsibility to protecting the environment. Many countries now require data on the total amount of toxic chemical produced, and by 2008, will have to comply with GHS. In addition to listening to consumers' voices, businesses are now trying to listen to voices of NPOs and other third-party organizations, and to reflect those voices in combining their environmental activities. I feel that through our activities, many people understand that we need new systems based on nature to construct a true resource rec recycling society. Through cooperation between the government, business, and citizens, it is possible to realize things that could not be done by them individually. In the past, there were always losers, but our NPO coordinates different types of thinking so that everybody, including the environment, can benefit. We have learned a lot of things from microorganisms that is EM. Our activities developed from understanding the EM concept and embodying it. We will continue to propose the EM way of life to those who are not interested in the environment, environment and natural, nature. We will continue our NPU activities as an organization of wisdom, a learning organization for creating the future. I truly hope that our presentation was helpful to you. Our future is not to be predict predicted, it is to be created. We would like to cooperate with you to socialize EM innovations and create a wonderful future. Thank you very much.